here we go guys three cards with three clarifiers for all signs on what you need to know right now what is it that you need to know right now all signs three cards and three clarifiers. Let's give them a cut. We're gonna use the Tarot of Dreams to start with. I'm gonna give them a couple shuffles. Okay, let's see what we have. We have the Five of Swords. Interesting. We have the Seven of Swords. You know, first of all, let's talk about a five because the five is what year we're in. We're in a universal year five. Um, so, you know, I feel like changes, <clears throat> excuse me, changes were happening maybe whether we liked it or not. Um, and then we have the Seven of Swords out. And then we have the Six of Pentacles. Hmm. You know, I feel like there may have been someone or there is someone who feels like they they take um, from your generosity. Um, and, you know, maybe in some way you feel you help. Um, and maybe you do help many. Um, but I feel like there's someone in particular, though, that... Um, you know, takes from your generosity. Um, and, you know, the Five of Swords in reverse, it's like, you know, uh, it asks us to look at or feel, not always look at, but what feels toxic to me, what has become toxic to my, to my energy, to my personal growth um, in all areas of my life. <clears throat> and five says look at it and make the changes that you know are necessary at that time um interesting we go from the five to the six and then we have the seven in between them interesting but anyway so you know i don't know if this is saying someone is refusing to look at that so you know Therefore, am I giving almost like then, then I give it away? Hmm. Okay. Well, let's bring in the Gilded Tarot. I feel like it, just be aware. This may simply be saying be aware of who you give your generosity to. And, um,. You know, is benefiting them in a way where it enhances them or, you know, um, does it just keep feeding? It's like feeding the addiction, right? Do I just keep feeding the addiction? You know, maybe I hope that it goes to higher energy, but yet don't I already know chances are it won't can relate to anything all right strange that I limited myself to three cards and three clarifiers because you know if you uh, follow my channel at all, you know, usually my readings are an hour long. Um, and they always feel like they need to be. You know, like, I don't drag them on. I feel like that's just what needs, you know, it's, I feel like it's clear advice. Anyway.
we have the Ten of Cups. You know, normally the Ten of Cups is really beautiful energy, right? And it doesn't mean if it's not that it can't be again. Um, but it's the energy of harmony, like harmony within um, a family. Um, it's good to speak of a family member. Look at that, flipped itself around. We have the King of Pentacles. Can be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Coming over that Seven of Swords kind of uh, kind of automatically puts the energy on this king. You know, it's almost like I feel like I'm in a relationship. Maybe I'm in a marriage. And although I feel that maybe everything is not on the up and up. I myself feel the Ten of Cups, right? So it's like... Almost like, you know, the bad or the good outweighing the bad. Now, am I just telling myself this? Um, I feel like someone may be also another story I'm getting is there may be someone who um, like I myself am having an affair I'm not having an affair I'm just using myself as an example um, and um, what was I going to say about that I don't even know we have the Queen of Wands. We have this King and King, King and Queen side by side. Queen of Wands can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, you know, this doesn't have to be fire, but what it is talking about uh, when it comes over the Six of Pentacles um, to me is um, this Queen is very intuitive. So I feel like you know it just may be something that like. I don't know, that I didn't want to deal with. Um, and, you know, and I feel like this is also speaking, though, to, like, family members, like, <clears throat> not just family members, but maybe people we love. Um, but in all different ways, I feel like it's also saying, like, um, you know, because they feel like the generosity, um, but is it, is it, is it expanding their life? You know what I mean? Or is it just feeding the same addiction? So I feel like I got to be aware of that. Um, I feel like I, I want to take three more cards and I'm going to do it. Okay, we have the tower. Interesting. Listen, we're in a year five. Um, it's coming over a five card. Um, and you know, and I do feel like, I don't feel like I'm telling you anything you wouldn't already know. Um, but I feel like, you know, maybe what felt like the Ten of Cups just really wasn't um, because they feel like someone in that energy wasn't, for some reason, giving it their all. Now, this can be like a brother. Um, this can be, you know, a lover. Um, nonetheless, I feel like um, it's like 
and then becoming like becoming aware of what maybe I have refused to, to be aware of um, and therefore you know that does mean change right because I do feel like you know um, I don't know I almost feel like you're delivering this tower more than you're receiving it um, but listen, I feel like the tower is coming in really in like universal energy. Okay, what do we have? We have the five of cups in reverse. Huh. Um, you know, I feel like someone has had like an awakening in love. I feel like someone has spent some time um, invested in someone who was not investing back in them equally. Um, and that hurts, right? Um, and you know what? And I almost feel like the person, the other person, just kind of like incapable of giving what it is you want um, because I feel like they, it's almost like they're on a different vibration. Um, feel a lot of ego attached to that but I almost feel like I had no choice but to give this tower um, you know and I feel like here's the five of cups here's the ten of cups this five is in reverse right when it's in the upright um, I'm focusing on that pain I'm focusing on those cups but it's not, it's flipped around. And what that tells me is this person is, um, I feel like whoever, um, who's ever having this awareness, I feel like part of what held me in place maybe was also, you know, the thought of giving someone up, right? Or um, of cutting those ties that type of thing like you know I'll just miss them and I don't know if I can handle that but then I feel like you know I almost feel like you're pushed to a point um, and maybe there's a reason for that you know because you're not getting what it is you really want and you're certainly not getting what you deserve right it's almost like this person's got their own um, lesson that they have to learn you know what I mean? Um, and, it, and it feels like, especially coming with a seven, a spiritual lesson, um, but it's almost like, you know, part of their lesson is not taking what is not theirs. What not, what not taking what they haven't earned, not taking, you know, what they're not equally able to give back. It's like, that's part of their lesson. And, um, you know, I feel like you as a soul must have said, well, I'll be part of that lesson for you, but you know, enough is enough, enough is enough. And the Five of Cups, it's a different perspective. You know, it's almost like someone's flipped perspectives. It's almost like I've gone from pretending nothing's wrong to, okay, I can't pretend anymore, um, to coming to the period of, of realization that, you know, it's like you got to realize that... Um, what you want is out there, right? Um, but you can't make someone be what they're not, when they're not. Uh, but that doesn't mean that they're that it's not out there for you, right? And, and I think what I mean by that is sometimes we've got to be careful we don't lower our, our, our vibration to match someone else's lower vibration. And therefore, what manifests in your life? Lower vibration type of energy. Well, that's not where you, you know, the people that I feel are here, I don't feel like that's, you know, what it's not your true soul's desire to manifest, right? Um, so anyways, I feel like these two cups, it's like, <laughs> you know, I tried. Um, I gave all I could give. Um, intuitively, I just couldn't shut it down anymore. Um, you know, and I think it's the realization that you are a good person and you deserve. Um, but you got to know that. 
You got to know that. The person in the Five of Cups in reverse to me has had that awareness. Right? I thought I had the Ten of Cups. Maybe I had it for a little while. I don't have it anymore. Um, it feels like it's time for a change. It feels like it. And, um, you know, the Five of Swords. I don't know. Like, I don't feel like your nature changes or it doesn't need to. Almost like simply just realize that this energy feels like it's not you. It's just like who they're going to be for a while. We have the sun. Beautiful. You know, it's like the sun has come out for you. Um, this is illumination. This is like the warmth of the sun. The sun at your back. Um, your generous self. You know, even if you've been taken advantage of. You know, you're, it's just your nature. And I feel like, almost like it's being rewarded, um, so to speak. Uh, those two cups are being completely illuminated. So this is about love again. Um, I feel like the sun... Like, nothing can hide in the sun, right? No shadows can hide in the sun. They can try, but you can see them. Um, you know, I feel it's very childlike energy. Um, I often feel like hometown, you know, hometown type of energy also in the sun. I don't know why. We have the Ten of Wands. I feel like this is simply saying that many of you have had this awareness that um, you know, this Ten of Wands, it feels like a burden that I've been carrying, um, I've been carrying around, and there is a sense of, of my own responsibility in that. I gotta remember that in the Ten of Wands, it's like, you know, I kept giving, even though, you know, I would strap myself for cash, even though, uh, you know, to give, even though I knew that giving, it was going to come of no good, that type of thing. Um, and I don't mean just financially. I mean emotionally. Um, I mean mentally. All that, you know. Um, people trying to steal your voice, you know. No. And I feel like this is the year that um, a lot of us are having these realizations, like truly these realizations of, you know, what's really working and what's not. Um, I feel like it's it's a year where we're looking at ourselves um, so that we can look at that, you know, it's like think of the five of swords, right? I'm looking at all the energy that's toxic around me. That toxic energy starts to penetrate your energetic field, right? So eventually you become part of it. Or you make the effort, the conscious effort right then and right there to not carry it, right? Anyway, anyway, the Ten of Wands just saying, you know, like, again, it's the energy of enough. So I feel like this tower is being delivered more um, than those here receiving it. I feel like you know which, you know, where you're at here. Um, I feel like that's clear. And, um, you know, I feel like who's ever doing this taking, I feel like, listen, they're creating their own karma. Um, and it may take them forever to live through that, right? It, things may keep coming, like, I don't know. Like, you know, I don't feel like they are creating anything good. I feel like, you know, they're creating exactly what energy they're in. <clears throat> and I almost feel like, you know, good. I'm glad you're not going to be tied to it anymore. Now, I can just be an energetic cut, right? Maybe I, can, maybe I live with these people. <laughs> you know, I can still t remove myself from the drama. Um, you know, whatever it is. I can remove myself from the home. Some of you, maybe you're going back home. Um, I just have to say this. I feel like this is a good little reading um, because I feel like it's being very clear. You know what I mean? Like you're either taking what doesn't belong to you or you're giving... Um, you know, it's not a give and take type energy. You know, 
it's great to give, but you also have to know how to receive, right? Learning to, to receive um, from divine, from the universe, um, all of that. So anyway, the sun is there, the illumination is there. Um, you know, someone's having the realization that there's more cups out there and um, I'm going to find them. Or they'll find you. It almost doesn't matter. The sun is there. There's like, it, nothing's going to be hidden. Um, so I feel like you're making an, a conscious choice to change Um something that you know feels like you know needs changed and listen I feel like I don't know then it feels like freedom freedom so I love you guys um thank you for just allowing me to do these different types of readings you know I like to just mess around um but you know the messages always come clear no matter what we use um again it wasn't as short as i planned but it's uh pretty clear i think um yeah i think you'll know where you're at in this reading so i love you guys thank you for everything um i will see you next time at the table bye bye